This is Chloe Johnson. This is Sung Min Nam. And we are in the library talking about our art history videos. I am talking about The Swing by Jean-Honoré Fragonard, painted in 1767. Uh, I'm talking about the Café Terrace at night, the painted by Vincent van Gogh at 80, 88. So, The Swing was painted in the Rococo style. It was a style which utilized lots of curves and lots of swirls. The name came from the French words meaning shell and rock to kind of reminisce the ideas of a solid painting and an intricate lavish painting. There were often really delicate bright pastel colors And the subject matter tended to be bourgeois France, and they were often mischievous. So, what we see in this painting is a young girl in a pink dress on a swing, and we see two men. The man on the left, hiding in the bushes, is her lover, and the man in the right, pushing her on the swing, is a priest of some sort. We don't know his exact relationship to her, but it has been speculated that they are lovers as well. So, we see mischief in that she has a secret lover who is hiding, who is also getting quite an interesting view up her dress, and her priest, who is not supposed to have any sort of relationship at all. So, we see the impact of color here in that her dress is so bright pink, and the rest of the forest around her is so dark green. It creates a vignetted effect, and it spotlights the attention onto her and her swirling dresses. It definitely displays the lavishness of Rococo and the Louis-era France. The bright dress makes her the absolute focal point of the picture. Is there anything else notable? So... Even though she's the focal point, there's a lot going on in the background. The two statues around her, we see one to her left above her lover that seems to be shushing him to make sure that he keeps it a secret. We also see a statue to the left and under her, two angels that are recoiling almost as if in disgust of her affair. We also, in the very, very background, can see a building So we can see that they are way out in the country and that the building is far away. So they're kind of hiding out in the forest. The forest is also untamed, which is untypical of the French garden tradition in which they used very geometric gardens and were very precise. What is so different than previous styles? This painting displays the Rococo... Um, immorality rather than Baroque moral paintings. Previous styles often had a moral or told a biblical story. This shows an immoral action. It shows mischief and love. It also departs in that there is such a brightness and richness of color. Um, Our next painting also has a brightness and richness of color. The Café Terrace at Night by Vincent van Gogh. The Café Terrace at Night, painted by Vincent van Gogh at earlier in France at 1888. It is one of his most significant paintings. The Café Terrace at Night is the first one he painted the Saturday night. Moreover, he painted Saturday night over the Rhone that same year and he painted Saturday Night one year later at 8089. All of these paintings describe the night in similar way that describe the stars and light effects. The Café Terrace at Night is his first great outdoor canvas at night. Vincent Van Gogh has reached an effect of light with the use of the opposing color and characters. The dark complement the uh, uh, the dark complement the 
night, the blue exaggerate the orange, and the purple carry out the yellows. The painting is divided into several zones, which are opposed strongly contrast. Yellow and blue are never combined in such a close space. This gives the impress which Benson was looking for represent the world in other dimension which is beyond reality. Contrast between yellow range of the world and the lighting in lighting and blue of the sky and the frontage is contrast between complementary. These two primary colors contrast strongly that Vincent like to outlay the color. Also, this produced a severe impact too. What was the point of view in this painting? The point of view is located at the level of the characters. The sky occupies most of the picture space and horizon is very low. This is similar to the swing. Both have a really low horizon. Uh, uh, can you tell me more, like, compare or contrast about these pictures? Absolutely. They both use a really bright color. In, in Vincent's case, orange, and in John Honoré's case, pink, to show the to showcase the focal point of the works. But they were both re- received really differently. The Swing was an instant commercial success because it showcased exactly what the bourgeois France was infatuated with, romance and mischief. Vincent van Gogh, on the other hand, only sold one painting in his life, and that to a sister of a friend. His work was not instantly a success. Do you have any thoughts on why? Uh, maybe... Isn't... The painting is too like to be on their to be on their style at the moment, maybe I guess. It is really different than previous styles. It not just in the subject matter like Rococo, but in the actual technical styles. We can see the brush strokes here, especially in the tree. This was really different, and it was considered impolite to leave your brush marks on the painting. Okay. It was interesting discussion. Sure learned a lot. <laughs> and that is all.